Good day, I'm Andre Blichnout from the Overstrand Municipality and I just want to thank the organizers for affording us the opportunity to present our project, which is the pre Biofiltration Water Treatment Plant in Armanus, which we built for the treatment of iron and manganese in our groundwater supply to the town. Just uh, to give some context, the town of Hermanus used to have a single water source, being the Debos Dam, and which has a, a limited sustainable yield and also um, a limited abstraction authorization from the Department of Water and Sanitation. And uh, as you know, Hermanus is a fast growing town the population and the water demand increases by approximately 3% per annum. And we are also in an area with uh, severe risks of drought cycles. Therefore, the decision was taken to diversify our water sources. And one of the options was uh, to look at groundwater supply. And uh, yeah, we found some good uh, groundwater sources in and around the town in the Table Mountain Group Aquifer. But there's one problem, there's uh, very high iron and manganese content in the groundwater. So yeah, we had to research the feasibility of different options of treatment. Uh, one being chemical oxidation, the more conventional method. Also ozonation and thirdly, biofiltration. At the end, biofiltration was identified as the preferred option, but it was never implemented on full scale in South Africa before. But why did we then decide on biofiltration? Firstly, it's, it's a natural biological process. The method has been proven in several countries overseas. And it's relatively simple to operate. Um, for instance, we didn't uh, require any additional process controllers as the plant is uh, located on the same site as our existing treatment plant for the, uh, the Bosch Dam water. Yeah, and the, uh, some advantages include reduced uses of usage of chemicals, reduced backwash cycles, and therefore also reduced water losses and also a reduction in energy usage. And the process basically entails uh, the creation of ideal conditions inside sand filters for these metal consuming bacteria to thrive. And with ideal conditions, we mean the adjustment of pH and dissolved oxygen to specific levels. If we look at this uh, simple process uh, diagram below, you have the <clears throat> raw groundwater coming in. It goes over a set of cascade weirs to add uh, air oxygen to the water, while the pH is adjusted to approximately 5.8 by dosing caustic soda. That's the only chemical involved. Then it goes through the iron biofilter where the bacteria grows on the media. From there it goes uh, over a set of manganese cascade weirs while the pH is adjusted to 7.5 from there into the manganese filters and from there uh, all the iron and manganese is removed and it goes for chlorine disinfection and stabilization. It's blended with the treated water from the Bos Dam and it goes into the Hermanus uh, water network. The backwash water from the two sets of filters goes through a pipeline to the Hermanus Wastewater Works. Then just the main challenges that we encountered. Um, firstly, at the time of implementation, that was approximately 2013, the plant was the first of its kind in South Africa at full scale. So the team had to do a lot of research to ensure that we do the right things right. Uh, we even constructed a pilot plant at the beginning of the process uh, to monitor different conditions to provide some design input for the full-scale plant. And secondly, the regulatory requirements for the project included 
that we had to do a basic environmental impact assessment and also a water use license application, both uh, lengthy processes. While the area was in the midst of a severe drought, uh, the Bosch Dam at uh, one stage was at 17% of capacity. But uh, through good cooperation and communication between the team and government departments involved, we obtained the necessary approvals in time and the plant was commissioned. Then lastly, the benefits, um, the long-term water security to the greater Amanus area was definitely improved through this project. The drinking water quality for the 67,000 residents and 22,000 households was uh, improved. It's also a sustainable project. It's been performing very well over the past more than seven years. Also environmental sustainability. As I mentioned before, the reduction in energy consumption, reduction in water losses and reduction in chemicals usage. And also it's very cost effective. Um, a real 80% reduction in operational cost versus the conventional chemical oxidation option. Yeah, so overall a very successful project from our point of view and we can certainly recommend this uh, technology for implementation or for consideration by other municipalities and institutions. Yeah, so thank you from my side to Green Cape and the Friedrich Neumann Foundation for this opportunity. Uh, thank you.